it is sunrise guys and i am trying to scurry around here the tide's gonna run for about another hour and a half according to the chart and uh i want to go get some pompano i haven't been to this spot in a long time hopefully there are some pompano around here i'd like to do a catch and cook today if at all possible my goodness my goodness rush 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 okay i think that's it all right we're hitting the beach this morning guys it is flipping gorgeous that was a long haul i just like booked it across there i wasn't running fast pace on the walk though all right guys well let's get started here start out with my favorite color for this spot a bright green with an orange teaser let's see if we got any anything happening out here let's see what this current's doing how fast it's moving Oop. there he is there we go fish on fish on first cast first cast little guy but we got a fish on and we got a sea robin these fish are very unique guys they've got spines on top of their head and they've got legs on the bottom see their little legs there cast number two i've got a a 3 8 ounce jig on here this current's just barely moving so i think i got the right weight on I haven't been here since spring. We are now in fall, so. Oh, that was a hit. That was a good hit. That was a good hit. There he is, come on, get it. Come on, you know you want it. Come on, there he is. Oh, that's a good one, that's a good one, big lady fish. Second cast, first cast we got a sea robin. Second cast we get a lady. You gotta be so careful with these ladyfish, man. They are, they are so big, they'll break you off. There we go. All right, number two, third cast, guys. I don't know, we might be in the right spot. I'm gonna cast that jig out there. Oh, there's a sea robin. He's like floating back up on the the bank buddy you got to get out there man and to cast that jig out there and let it hit the bottom and then just gently bounce it on the bottom you change the weight of the jig depending on the amount of current that you have oh what a beautiful morning what a gorgeous morning to be out here there he is we're gonna fish the guys that's three casts and three fish doesn't feel like a pompano. Another sea robin and another little sea robin. I am three for three, fellas. Not a bad way to start. All right, little guy. See ya. All right, here we go. Cast number four. Well, we got sea robins and ladyfish. Hopefully we can find some bombs out here. See, watch, you'll watch your line. You'll throw it out there. It'll hit the bottom. You want slack to go in your line. That's an indication that you've hit the bottom. And then you just want to bounce it and look for that slack in your line. If you get a pompano hit, you'll know it. Those fish are crazy, man. They swim crazy and they hit it crazy when they hit it. There'll be no doubt in your mind when you get a hit. Come on. Come on, we gonna go five for five today? Oh, there he is. Well, that's a good one. Another lady fish. Big lady. Big lady fish, man. Five for five, not bad. Not the fish we want though, but I'll take it. 
Five for five works for me. You gotta be so careful with these guys. I always let a lot of slack, I always let a lot of slack out in my line. And what I do when I handle these guys, I take my hand and I wrap it around the line like that. That way that jig can't spring back up and get me if he happens to come unhooked. Oh man, we got him hooked good. All right. I always keep a pair of needle nose pliers close by. I keep them in my pocket if at all possible. All right, little guy. Thanks for the catch. See ya. Five for five. Okay. Where are the pompanos? The current is headed this way, right? So I'm casting diagonally up current and I'm just bouncing it on the bottom like this. What's going on here is there's a channel that runs through there. There's also a sandbar out there. These fish like to hang out in that channel along the edge of the sandbar. The water's looking really clear. And you can see that water looks really good. So we can find some pompano. Oh, there he is. Oh, 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 oh. We can find some pompano. We'll be in good shape today. Five for five. Can he go six for six? All right. We didn't get one on the sixth cast. And let's see what happens with the seventh. Nothing unless he hits it on the way in. I'll really give it a good heave ho. Cast that thing way the heck out there. Wait for that slack in the line. There it is. Oh, there he is. Oh, baby. As soon as it hit the bottom. There he was. Yeah. Oh, baby. That's a good one. I think it's a ladyfish. Another big ladyfish. Plenty of ladyfish out here. Wow. So, I, what is this? Cast number seven or eight? So, this is six out of eight casts I'm hooked up. Not bad. Not bad at all. See that? Woo! Beautiful sun cracking up over the horizon. Guys, it's about 75 degrees out here. Oh my gosh. It's just gorgeous. Low winds, and I'm catching fish and having a good time. Already, and I just got here, man. So you'll you'll see what I do here. I'll, I'll pull out the drag to put slack in my line so my, my rod doesn't act like a spring. And then I wrap my hand around the line a couple times, add more control over the fish, and then we just give him a good grip right there. You gotta hold him really tight. So many people have been hooked because of ladyfish, so you gotta really have a good grip on these guys. Don't let him flip out of your hands and throw a hook in your hand. All right, buddy, thanks for the catch. Nice. All right. All right, guys, it took some doing, but we got the guy off the hook. Come on, buddy, you can fly. Yeah. I just wasted a lot of precious fishing time. Doggone it, I have not caught a seagull in probably four or five years. Wow. I casted and all of a sudden there he was like, and my line just kept going and going and going. I'm like, I got the seagull. <laughs> I got him un undone. He looked a little crippled there, but honestly he did. He flew off. He, he just kind of had to shake his wings around a little bit, but I got all the line off of him. So he flew off strong. Dude, we gotta, gotta find us some pompano here, man. Doggone it. Time is a wasting, and I'm just not catching them. Yeah. Now that's a little better fish. Is it a bigger sea robin? It's not swimming like a pompano. Maybe I foul hooked something. I don't know, let's see here. Ah, lizard fish. We got the lizard. I'd really like to do a catch and cook, but I don't want to have to do a catch and cook with a lizard fish. 
No, thank you. All right, well, not getting anything good on the pink, white, and green, so I'm gonna switch back to my faithful color in this spot. Let's head over to the cart and make a lure change. Yeah, the sun's really getting up there good now, but the tide is still running pretty decent here. I mean, we, we get some pompano that'll come through here, we'll catch them up. There we go. I thought I had something grab it. Ladyfish are still out there. All right. I don't know about you guys, but I get really excited when I look at that. I'm headed to another spot. It's going to take me about 45 minutes to get there. And uh, I don't know. We'll see how we do. I usually catch Pompano over there. But I haven't been there since the water temperatures changed and fall has come in. But there ought to be some palms there. We're going to certainly give it a try. Let's get them on the Pompano Chase today. There we go. Oh, that's a good one. There we go. There we go. That's what we're after right there. Got us a pump. Got us a pump, finally. Looks like a keeper. Looks like a keeper. He is going to be close. Oh, yeah. 12 to the pork. All right, don't you flip out and get away, you little sucker. That's what I was after right there all morning. Guy hit the pink and white with the green. Nice. Love catching me some pompano, baby. Woohoo! Heck yeah. Let's get another one. I'll take another one, please. This tide is barely moving, man. I got a 3 8 ounce jig on there. Oh, that felt good. It was March. March was the last time. No, wait a minute. I caught some about a month ago in the kayak. That felt good though, I'm telling you. Fish on, fish on, fish on. Oh, I got a little big fish. A little bitty croaker. Grunt, pig fish, see ya. Oh, that was a good hit. Oh, fish on. Fish on. That's a good. Oh, that's a good pump. That's a good pump. That's a good pump. Don't get around that piling. Nope, nope, nope. Oh, dude, that's a big one. That is a huge pump. And I do not get off of my line. Do not get off of my line. Dude, that's a. There's a Mac Daddy right there. Come on up here. Come on up here. Dude, that is a fine pompano that is a good one no doubt that's a keeper Woo! all right guys that is a giant pompano nice one
gorgeous day all day today. I have had the best time bouncing around in different spots fishing. Took me a while to catch some pompano, but we got them. You gotta stick with it, man. You just gotta stick with it when you're pompano fishing till you get them. I actually have a video that shows you how to pompano, how to clean pompano several different ways. I'll put a link here in the description area and in this video. You guys can go check that out if you want to see some of the different ways that you can clean pompano. We're going to pan sear this today with a, a new recipe that I've never tried, so I'm excited about that. I should be able to block the wind with my cooler here, a propane cooker. Love this little cooker right here. So we're gonna have some Campbell's Chunky Clam Chowder. Ooh, this stuff is the bomb diggity right here. I'm gonna push that back so I don't catch my hair on fire. <laughs> All right, I brought a can opener and I didn't need it. All right guys, so the cool thing about having a YouTube channel, right, is people make comments, they get involved in what's going on in the channel. And somebody told me to try lemon pepper seasoning on fish, so I'm gonna give it a try. I have never tasted lemon pepper seasoning before. I took a little taste of it this morning. It is absolutely delicious. I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm just gonna cook it up in some butter. And uh, so let's get it done, man. Season the fish up a little bit on both sides. Don't wanna overdo it. This stuff is really pretty darn potent, man. From the, a little bit that I tasted. It's not going to take much seasoning. That's plenty. Oh my gosh, this is going to be delicious. Plenty of butter. Ooh, that fire is hot, guys. Fire is really hot. It's blazing good. That's not too bad, though. That's going to cook good. I kind of overdid it on the butter. I can, I can always take it out, right? We can add it back in if we need it. I got a feeling we're going to end up with like a blackened look because I'm using butter. It's very, very slow cooking it. It's got a very buttery look on the outside of these. I flipped those over. So, which is fine. I'm glad it's not burning the butter, you know? Oh yeah, that's looking good. We can get just a little bit of brown color on there. Ooh, baby. Heck yeah. I'm glad I took that extra butter out. All right, guys, let's go over the gear that I was using today. So my blue rod is an ugly stick carbon rod. It's a medium heavy. It's seven foot long. Absolutely love this fishing rod. I've got it paired with my Pen Authority 3500 size reel. Um, this has got 20 pound test braid on it, and both rods had 25 pound test leader. Now, when I was fishing on the beach, I was using the Walmart sealed reel, and this one is paired with a Shakespeare excursion rod, um, a great rod for jigging for pompano, um, super lightweight, and it'll handle some big pompano. But yeah, this, this setup right here with the long handle, and this is a pretty heavy setup. I mean, I did fine when I was up on the bridge jigging for those pompano, but I definitely would not want to jig for pompano all day with this pen authority with a seven foot rod it's pretty heavy and awkward um, this is really very lightweight and uh, yeah it handles pompano just fine this rig right here is definitely uh, for a different type of an application but i love the setup so much that i brought it today to fish with it so uh yeah the walmart reel is spooled with 15 pound test braid 4,000 size sealed reel and then it's a 3500 size um, sealed reel from pen all right, guys, so let's let's pull these off. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, definitely ready. Definitely ready. Oh, look at that juicy goodness. Look at that. Look at that juicy goodness, would you? Woo. Oh, yeah, that's, that's plenty hot. Got a little pumpkin of lemon pepper goodness in there with it, too. So, oh, yeah. She's starting to steam a little bit. It's about ready. Oh yeah, she's starting she's starting to boil a little bit. Might be ready to take it off. Mm. Just right. Time to time to pull it. 
And there you have it, guys. A meal fit for a king. Oh, yeah. Big old bowl of clam chowder. Mmm, yummy, yummy. And some pompano. Lemon pepper seasoned pompano. All right. I'm going to try the pompano, guys, and let you know what it tastes like. I actually already had a little bite, but just for the YouTube adventure sake, we can act like I haven't. <laughs> it's absolutely delicious. Mmm. Man, that is an easy way to make pompano taste good right there. Oh, and pompano tastes good anyway, but... Mmm. Mmm. Bam. Lemon pepper cooked in butter. Who would have known? Clam chowder goodness. Mmm, 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 mmm. Mmm. Perfect temperature. Well, guys... A meal fit for a king or for a rad reeler, right? <laughs> and an absolute blast out there today, guys. Thanks for coming along. If you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. Click the bell. Set your notifications to all. And uh, thumbs up are always appreciated. And everybody, get out there and go fishing, man. Life is fun. Live it. See ya! Subscribe or I'll send this guy out to your next fishing adventure.